In the summer of 2023, the news and social media were abuzz with reports of unidentified flying objects being spotted and tracked over the continental USA and Canada. These objects, which were engaged by the Air Force, were shot down and retrieved. While all of this was going on, speculation ranged from balloons to UFOs. And when the Air Force got involved and shot down these objects, the talk of aliens grew. And with this seeming alien invasion underway, all hell broke loose on the streets. Well, wait. That didn't happen at all. If you remember that time we were engaged in the news or in social media at any point during that that summer, which I believe it was the summer, um, you remember that uh, the aliens that were shot down weren't aliens at all and were, uh, looks like Chinese spy balloons. Um, so there was a little bit of hype and people wondering if it was aliens. And uh, this will be important later because I wanted to bring up the state of what the supposed alien cover-up really is at this stage. Um, I covered this before a little bit, um, but I didn't really touch on this avenue. So for a long time, uh, the belief in the government's covering up or recovering alien craft uh, has been going around. That they are keeping it under wraps for certain reasons. But if we look at it under these fresh new eyes, we're going to have to ask ourselves what is true in this aspect. Uh, so I'm going to take a look at this article here. Uh, so I wanted to share this article uh, by Christopher K. Mellon, uh, and it's his Substack. So I will put a link to this whole article below. Um, I saw his name being uh, mentioned on the interwebs about this issue, and I thought it'd be a good video topic or add to the video topic that I had wanted to do. So uh, this, he basically goes on to say that he had a f uh, freedom of information request with the Department of Defense to release some signal exchanges he had with someone else um, with the Army. Anomaly Resolution Office, or Arrow. Uh, the release surprised, but did not offend him, uh, and it re but it reminded him of another signal message that the public might find of interest. That is also pertinent to the alleged recovery of off-world technology, which is what we're talking about. Out of respect for the officers confidentially, he's been sitting on this for a while. He could not uh, reveal who the author was. As always in these cases, we don't know who it is, but apparently this is a high ranking um, holder of an office in the government. or So it had been approved by public release by Defense Office of Pre-Publication and Security Review, or DOPSER, so this is not no longer classified. Um, this is a look of a uh, uh, marked up version, uh, cleaned up version of the, the document, the messages. These are actually the messages, and then there's the copy that was sent to um, Congress. Uh, as you can see here in this big one down here, right now we're, we haven't gone that far back. We're dealing with a recovered UAP that landed in Kingman, Arizona in the fifties. We're vacuuming up info as redacted. So the names are redacted, but as you can see, name redacted here, but provided to Congress. So some of them are redacted and provided. Some of them are gets read in. We now know the management structure and security control of the systems and ownership of the CR. We also know that who recovers landed or crashed UAPs under what authorities. We also know that a still highly classified memo by a secretary of the U.S. Air Force in the 1950s is still in effect to maintain the cover on UAPs. We also know that SES-2, who's the Air Force gatekeeper. Um, this is just the uh, unmarked up uh, version here. Uh, so, as you can see, the senior government official claimed they are being granted access to alleged U.S. alien technology recovery and exploitation program. Uh, he doesn't know, he can't comment on the organization they work for, uh, but 
confirmed that the individual had plausible access and was high ranking, considerably more so than whistleblower Dave Grush. Uh, he seen, he, this individual claimed to be gaining deep insights into the program and even provided names of alleged Air Force ga- gatekeeper. Uh, so, aware of the government's denials and anything related to extraterrestrial life, he submitted, uh, so Christopher here, submitted a copy of this brief exchange in the Defense Office of Pre-Publication and Security Review. Dops are confirmed the text is unclassified and approved for public release. Uh, he does recognize that this is very sensitive anyways, and, uh, you know, he wanted to make sure that it wasn't classified, and he's still taking an issue uh, seriously. He said any any information kind of a senior government official with this he would naturally take this issue seriously while holding reservations about such wild and sensational claims. It is important to, stre- to stress that regardless of the alleged technological recovery issue, the UAP topic is one that requires serious continued congressional and executive branch attention. In just the last few years alone, a thousand military UAP reports have been recorded. This in addition to a wider pattern of mysterious and disruptive drone overflights over U.S. bases and warships. Fighter aircraft from Langley Air Force Base recently had to be relocated after weeks of drone overflights at Langley that the Air Force seemed impotent to address. The Air Force still does not know who was operating these crafts or where they came from. It is not just in Langley. There have been many similar unsolved cases elsewhere in recent years. These include incidents in Anderson Air Force Base, sensitive facilities on Guam, a large region of the United States containing U.S. ICBM missile silos, and Navy vessels off both the East and West Coast have been extensively surveyed. U.S. Air Force training ranges in Arizona have been violated and more. Uh, he goes and say if you didn't try to shame people, they would, you would probably have more reports uh, and they'd have more credible reports to evaluate. Uh, which with such extraordinary demonstrated vulnerabilities, far more serious than mere Chinese balloons that we, you know, mentioned at the beginning of this video, there's an urgent need for our government to aggressively investigate incursions of restricted military airspace regardless of any truth of allegations about recovered off-world technology. Uh, And there's a little bit more, but that's basically the gist of that. Um, So as you can see, uh, they're getting to, there's some talk in the government that they have recovered aircraft. Uh, and my original point here was to to look at this. So one of the main reasons that uh, people believe that they have recovered aircraft and aliens have been visiting here and that the army or government would cover it up is the case of, um, I think growing up it was always the case of mass hysteria or destabilization that people wouldn't be able to handle um, the news that aliens have have come here and um, or invading if you will but just even just a friendly visiting alien would cause such uh, uproar the stock market would crash people would be riding the streets it would be pandemonium as they say but as we can see what I my, my initial part of this video was that uh, everybody thought that might be aliens, and nobody really cared that much. There was no craziness. With all the craziness going on in the world right now, um, there's already destabilization attempts by either your own government or someone else's government. Um, so things are already pretty destabilized. Uh, and at this point, at least half the people believe there's aliens and think there's aliens, and portion of the other five uh, 50 percent probably believe it's possible uh, they wouldn't rule it out um, so I think people are almost expecting to find aliens now so I don't think it would be that much of a I don't think the case that the government would be holding it back or holding it down or covering it up because of they're worried about destabilization in fact I almost would look at it as a ace card for a government to destabilize its own self, its own country, if it so wanted to. Now, another uh, excuse for the covering up of alien technology, or the concept of that there's a cover-up or aliens when investigated, is uh, basically a cover story that it's not really alien craft, but it's secret uh, experimental craft done by the military and that the UFO is made to be a cover for this 
Um, and I think the article here brings up an interesting little hole in that as well. Well, I do think that there is some of that going on. Uh, they can use the UFOs as a cover for some of their experimental craft, but I don't think that all the craft are our or the U.S.'s. Whoever country you live in, I don't think it's necessarily their own um, experimental craft. It could be other countries. So what we're seeing here in this article and uh, what we witnessed last year is that there's a whole bunch of things flying in that uh, are not being properly reported or identified or um, brought down or what have you. So there's things flying around all over our military sites and, and these things. So um, and it'd be unlikely for us to for its own government to even want to do that to itself uh, maybe to test its limits but unlikely so either someone else has um, some different technology than the US has which is possible or um, there's something else going on so there's a couple different things of of uh, why the cover-up? So, why is the cover-up? If we can no longer um, use the the reasoning of mass hysteria and destabilization, I don't think that holds water anymore of a reason to do it. Now, sometimes people hold on to ideas that maybe they thought 30, 40, 50 years ago maybe might have hold, held water, and that carries a tradition with it, possibly that's a possibility but as we stand right now that's that's not a reason to withhold it uh now a reason to withhold it that i see that still stands is not really wanting to show the weakness of your defense system which is a national security issue that i could see for a reason to cover up the ufos nobody wants to let Everyone else know how vulnerable they are, even if it's space aliens. But if they don't know it's space aliens, they don't know it's someone else. And it's a sort of a game of poker. If this is someone else, how do they not know about it? And why don't they know about it? If this is someone on Earth, another country's weapons and technology, they want to get their hands on it. They want to know who it is, but they also do not want anybody to know how easy it is to slip through the defenses, if it is, with these vehicles. Um, if it, even if it's aliens, they don't want to risk the possibility of other countries investigating and finding out, hey, where are your holes in your defense? So it could be a matter of international poker. Now, that being said, I don't think that uh, that really holds much water either. Um, unless you actually cannot identify. But let's say that uh, the reports in this article are true. They have recovered UAF UAPs. There's even an article which says, uh, part of that article which says that um, they don't even call them crashes anymore because it looked like the, the UAPs were being handed to them, um, like a gift. Um, so I don't think withholding that information holds water with them as hysteria, like the fear campaign, or uh, any of the, or even of the, the other two that I mentioned, um, to a lesser degree. Because if it was, if they have UAP, um, really the only reason why they would want to hold on to that and not admit it is that everybody would be clamoring for the technology, which would be the real only reason to hold on to that information. If you admit that there are aliens visiting here, people are going to ask to see whether you are holding old alien craft, and then they would want access to that. That, ultimately, would be the only reason, or only credible reason in my opinion, to cover it up, especially in this growing time of people demanding more and more transparency on the issue. So, that, I believe, is the only reason, or the main reason, that things are being covered up if we do have alien craft that are here. And probably unlikely that 
it's going to change at any time soon. But I don't know. What do you think? Do you think there are uncovered UAPs in the governments around the world? If so, or if not, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It really helps out a small channel like this one. And I'll talk to you next time.